Sorry, Kurt. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and let Kurt make his opening statement after tonight's 76-67 victory over the Phoenix Mercury. The Connecticut Sun have swept the series. They also have secured the number one seed in the playoffs. Kurt, you may go ahead and make your opening statement. Kurt, can you hear me? No. You can't hear me. How about now? Okay, sorry about that, everyone. Kurt, you may go ahead and make your opening statement. You know, huge road win to complete this three game road swing for us. Um, playoff type atmosphere. We knew it was going to be the best crowd of the, uh, the year um, against a team with a double figure win streak. Um, just a tremendous win for us as we stuck to it. Um, only giving up 24 points uh, in the second half. All three games on the road, we were able to keep people under 70, the first two under 60. So again, 24 second half points for them is just a credit to our stick to itness, our uh, desire, our tenacity. We just stayed with the defense. Uh, offensively, it was a grind tonight. I thought they defended us tremendously physical, tremendously well. Um, and we were frustrated at times and, and being forced away from the basket. But Jasmine Thomas with a huge night, um, you know, some critical baskets from people throughout the game uh, to get us the separation we needed. But to secure the number one seed on this road trip for three consecutive road games to extend our streak to 12 is just, again, a credit to those players continue to prepare and then the tenacity and how hard they play each and every night. Charlotte? Hey Kurt, kind of just to follow up on that. I mean, this was built up as a matchup of your guys' defense and their offense, what it means to be able to come out with your defense once again, performing at such an ex exceptional level. Yeah, they were efficient offensively, obviously shooting almost 60% in the first half. We've got that down into the mid to upper 40s. So obviously had a much more successful second half getting them to miss shots. But uh, we were grinding and, uh, you know, we did some things that we wanted to. Um, underrated how much they get to the foul line. We kept them in the foul line under 10 times. Um, making nine threes a game after the post-Olympic break. Um, kept them to five. So while they went and made a lot of baskets, assisted on a lot of baskets. Uh, we were making them go two by two by two. Um, and again, 24 points total in the second half, credit to our defense. What, uh, if I could follow up, adjustments did you make at halftime to, or what kind of things did you see in the first half to, to build off of? Yeah, some of our schemes, I thought we had some slippage. They uh, exposed some of our schemes uh, and I thought we had slippage. So. I, I thought this, you know, a few things and a few of their plays and sets, uh, we had the right type of coverage, but we made too many mistakes in the first half. Um, you know, so we talked about that. Um, we, we just talked to them about, we need a disruption. We played seven or eight minutes out of the gate without them having a turnover. Then we had a stretch where we turned them over seven or eight times 
And then they finished the half, not turning the ball over in a stretch of time. So we just weren't disruptive. We had no three stops in a row. So that's always an important part of our franchise and the way we want to play defense. We had zero first half, three stops in a row. So, you know, we just talked about some schemes. We talked about digging in, uh, you know, less slippage, doing what we did. And we made some, you know, subtle adjustments on certain things and we were fine. Okay. Why don't you talk about how much of a struggle it is to guard Brittany Grant on the defensive end and on the fast break? Yeah, she's, you know, the elite center in the world for a long time and uh, is really, really difficult to guard. And you have to pick your poison. They have so many three-point shooters on the floor. Do you want Brittany to try to go for 30 plus? Do you want her to have to make a bunch of twos? Or, you know, like they can, you know, is it a night where there's a lot of attention to Brittany and now they make double figure three pointers and, uh, you know, their guards get a lot of room to get comfortable on the outside. So you got to pick your poison tonight. Uh, we stayed at home on some shooters, as you see, only five made threes tonight, but therefore then it allows Brittany to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities and she was efficient tonight. Appreciate your insight and good luck in the next game. Thank you. Ned? Please unmute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats, Skirt. Evening. Uh, can you speak to the team's, I don't know if it's conditioning or doggedness, or, you know, you've had so many players play heavy minutes this year, yet late tonight, in the last four plus minutes, you guys only allow six points. Yeah, it's a competitive veteran group. Um, you know, they they just want to play. They want to win. Um, they have fun playing together. And so um, while they will complain about their tiredness in practice, you never see them wanting to come out of the game. And even those guys with heavy minutes, you know, at times get frustrated when I take them out. But, you know, we know we know who we are. We've had 10 players all year. And, uh, you know, we we have a lot of young bench players and a lot of veteran in that first unit. And you know, we've extended minutes with those guys and they've handled it all season. A uh, testament to their conditioning, like you said. But more than that, it's it's, you know, a testament of their competitiveness. They are just uh, one of the most competitive groups I've ever been around. Thank you. Get some sleep, please. All right. Thanks, Kurt. You're all set. Let's go. Ned, you may ask the first question. Dang, Nate. Ned, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you because as always, I forgot to turn off the bleeping button. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Okay. Hey, Nate. You that grill I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm here. It's okay. Uh, can you speak to the last four minutes of the game, how you guys locked down defensively and only allowed them, I think it was six points in the final four plus minutes? Yeah, that's our. that's been our identity all season, right? It's just being really tough, um, a team that plays hard um, for 40 minutes and it had that playoff atmosphere. It had that playoff atmosphere, and we understood that coming in. That was one of the things that Kurt had prepared us for. You know, just embracing the atmosphere here tonight, um, understanding that it was going to be a big game with both teams going on a win streak. Um, and so that was our goal, just to, to, to come out victorious, but also to just be locked in with the last couple of minutes of the game. Tired after logging all those minutes? All right, can you say it again? Said tired after logging all those minutes tonight? Yeah, it's, it's been a tough road trip. We, we've been... We've been playing, traveling. That travel day is like the rest day, and then playing the next day. So it's been really tough. So I'm happy that we have some time to rest. Thank you. Get some sleep. <laughs> Rafiq? Hey, at one point in the season, you were kind of struggling to scrape your way towards against the wins on the road. Right now, you're getting through the road games flawlessly. Like, how does it feel to get this road W? 
Um, honestly, I think it just feels like we're clicking at the right time. Um, um, we're peaking at the right time. Sometimes you peak early in the season. Sometimes you peak like a little bit in the middle. But I think we're peaking at the right time. The tempo that we're playing at is really good. Um, our defense is locked in every night. Um, everybody's contributing. Um, and we're just really hard to stop. Like tonight, offensively, wasn't my best. But um, everybody else was stepping up. And I was able to just be a defender and a rebounder for the most part. And so that's what it takes to be a championship team. And we understand that. And we're peaking at the right time. And how do you plan to keep up that momentum going up against the New York Liberty? Just playing our, our style of basketball, being ready um, defensively, um, kind of using our size. Tonight was a tough game for us with Turner and, uh, and BG on the inside. So um, with New York, we're going to have a size advantage on the inside. So taking advantage of that. But ultimately, you know, just using our time off right now to rest, recover, and then worry about that when we start preparing for that. Appreciate your insight and good luck. Thank you, man. Charlotte? Hey, JJ, nice to see you. Um, Kurt had talked about kind of the adjustments made at halftime, and I think he's mentioned that before in previous games. Just what you think or how your team kind of reacts at halftime um, to kind of make those adjustments, especially on the defensive end where you guys are so strong um, and you yeah. do a good, good job already to begin with. Yeah, I think it's just just locking back in. Um, I think our at first it was us not starting games right. Um, and that's not coming out with the energy needed to, to really start games and give the team the type of push that starters usually give a team. Um, and, so, and so we nip that in the butt. And so now I think halftime is just our time to, um, you know, just reconnect, understand what's working, what's not working, and then just change the game plan or, or alter it a little bit to be successful. And um, it's working, obviously, because we're on a win streak right now. Um, and like I said before, I just feel like everybody's clicking on all cylinders from the coaching staff all the way down to the players. So um, to every player on the team. And, that's what it's going to take. Perfect. Enjoy the rest. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, JJ. All right, Rafi, go ahead. Hey, Jazz. When the Phoenix Mercury had you guys lead cut down to like five points, you managed to cover the game clutch shot that sealed the deal. What does this tell you, you about your team? What does this tell you about your team's ability to close out games when you do get close games during this winning streak? Um. I mean, it's good. It's always good to be able to win close games down the stretch. We haven't had one in a while. Uh, we knew we were coming in to play a hot Phoenix. So, you know, to be able to take that down to the wire and close it out with a win is what we want going into playoffs. And not to mention securing the first spot. That's what we set out to do. And that's what we did today. And what is the mindset going into the game against New York Liberty? Against New York? Yes. Um, I mean, it's just the next game. We try to win every game, so we'll watch film, get into practice, and prepare for New York like we do for every team. Appreciate your insight and good luck. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. Good night, y'all. Night, night.